We wake up extremely late on day five. Um, it's almost 1 p.m. And also horribly thirsty, like almost dying of thirst. Head over to Sid, get some water, quench my thirst, uh, grab some for the road. I check out the PDA. I think we're going to head to Rostock today. Rostock is a great way to make some money so we can get better guns um, to go with our nice suit that we just got yesterday. So I think we will try to head to Rostock, do the arena, go through garbage, kind of check that off the list, see if there's any missions there. I don't really remember too much about garbage from the trilogy, so we'll see what's there. Along the way, I hear a strange groan come from beside the road over here, and I find just a few zombies. Take them out real quick with the Mosin. That turned out to be a few more Zeds than I expected. Uh, I used a little bit more Mosin ammo than I would have liked, but hey, we got some mutant skin. As I get close to the southern checkpoint, I can hear gunshots going off. Let me sneak up there, see a man in a ran coat. I think he's a stalker, so we hold, I hold my fire. I cover him as he peeks the corner, and there's a bandit there. It's a dead bandit. Before we can get to the checkpoint, we see another one of these weird light things. As I get into garbage, I meet a, a nice ecologist here. Um, he doesn't really have any missions or anything, but he's just hanging out in the junkyard. After seeing the scientist or the ecologist, I thought, um, you know, might as well try to find an artifact. And lo and behold, after a little searching, we did get some beeps. Unfortunately, it turned out to just be a chain instead of an actual cool artifact, but you know, we'll keep it for now. Uh, it's super heavy, so I'm not sure if we'll be able to get there, but I will hold on to it for now. Update we had to drop the chain. It's way too damn heavy. Just way, way too damn heavy. Up this little mound right here, I find uh, a nice little stash. Got some crazy pills and some caffeine tablets, because I will definitely need those. My next stop is the train station. It looks safe enough, I guess. Uh, the first person to meet in here is the butcher. I don't remember from the original games, but it seems like he has a little bit of information and would give us some good prices on mutant stuff and skins, so. We go hunting, we bring it back to the butcher. And probably get some, and he has, not probably, he has the food. A lot of food. This little guy about got the better of me outside the train station. Thankfully my new uh, graphite armor, you know, really took the brunt. After getting jumped by a boar, another one running away, I remember I dropped a chain not too far away from the butcher, so I go back, store some of my stuff with the butcher. And then I run and grab the chain, bring it back. As it turns out, the butcher did unfortunately not want to buy the chain off of me. So I put it in storage, grab my Mosin back and continue on my way. How unfortunate. Thought that was gonna be easy money. Only getting the chain earlier out of the anomaly field made me a little sad. So pull out my sound detector and my handy dandy knife, I mean bolt. Unfortunately, well, I thought I found something cool. It turned out to just be a heart, which again is junk. I don't understand the junk, but I guess it doesn't need my container. So I keep on looking for an artifact until this weird psychic attack almost happens. After a little gunfight and me luckily not getting hit running around trying to find cover, um, I take out what looks to be a controller. Uh, and apparently it was a mission I guess we picked up from Butcher. It was a nice kill, and we only really used our scorpion to get him, so that was... I managed to find on him a controller scalp, which is uh, kind of crazy looking. I grab it. Maybe I can sell it. I don't know. It looks like if I can attach it, that would be kind of cool. It has so much, so many stats. Holy cow. As I'm navigating my way to Rostock, I come upon these ruins, and as I'm checking them out, or as I'm heading towards them, I hear screaming, and I start taking fire immediately. It sounds like it's from the right. So I take cover and then I start taking shots from the left. Make a mad dash for cover. I kill a bandit by the fire. And find cover to heal ourselves. 
After talking with this somewhat nonchalant trader, pushed down with the scorpion and ended up killing the, the guy shooting at us. On the way going to check his body, I had a very, very scary near-death experience. I'm very lucky that that did not end me right there. I grabbed basically everything off this guy, thinking I can trade with this guy over here, but he really doesn't, you know, want the guns. You know, he takes some of the ammo, just some of the frivolous bullshit and patches, but that's about it. And that's, you know, chump change. I head back to the, the train depot uh, to see if I had any stuff that I'd left in storage to pick up the chain and the chain uh, to see if this guy would want to buy them. I also want to turn in a quest for a uh, butcher here, or a mission for butcher. Once that's all done, I clear out my storage here and I make my way back to the, the trader in the ruins. It was a very, very quiet trip. Uh, I didn't really expect it, but you know, considering we had just killed basically everything in the area, it makes sense. We come to Yashi here, give him the chain. He'll give us 5600 for it, not too bad. You know, I'll take it, considering it's junk. As I'm scouting the area with my binoculars, I kind of cheesily come upon a bandit over here hiding in some concrete. However, I am out of ammo with my Mosin, so this is gonna have to be just a scorpion, a scorpion tapper. We sneak up like a secret agent or like a Navy SEAL through the woods. We lead around the, the corner of the van. Boom. Another dead bandit. Cleaning up the zone one step at a time. I check out more of the areas that I haven't gone through yet and to find maybe some Easter eggs or something. But the only thing I found was a bunch of Zeds and a near death experience. So somehow broke my knife. So there goes all of my skinning for a little while. But maybe we can just buy a stronger one. Uh, that would be great. So we can actually skin the boars now. It looks like a bandit has now taken up home um, with my ruined trader. So we think, or I think I can get him off guard. But it turns out I cannot. And another very close scare. Thank gosh for my new graphite suit. I sell a bunch of bullshit stuff, loot that I had picked up along the way for basically nothing. I guess there is really no rep with Yasha here because he doesn't seem to want to give us anything. I buy some crappy ammo and equip one of the AKs we got off a of bandit up just because my motion's out of ammo and, you know, well maybe an AK would be nice. Excited to try out my new AK, I head back to the train yard and see if there's any missions or just where I can really go uh, and, you know, have a little fun with this new assault rifle. In my excited stupor, I head back to Agriprom and decide I'm going to try and take on the military. <sighs> Not two minutes in the zone, this huge beast runs at me, of course my AK jams on me. I tried to use the anomaly I saw a second ago to maybe bait the this huge thing, of course the AK jams again. <sighs> Scorpion's almost out of ammo. Oh my god. Finally, we take him down with the trusty old scorpion. But not after a lot of stress. I don't know how we didn't take any damage. This AK is terrible. This was a huge mistake. I explored a little bit more, but after that experience, uh, the AK jamming on me basically instantly, and me only having a headlamp and not night vision, uh, I decided to kind of book it back to that train station. Uh, once back at the train station, it was a fairly quiet run. Uh, we sprinted about as fast as we could because it was dark and scary and the night is dark and full of terrors. So we get back to our cozy little train station and make camp there for the night and end day five to die another day.
We wake up bright and early, um, just before 9 a.m. I check my, my stats in the leaderboard to make sure that I have, you know, time has elapsed as five days. But more impressively, I am now 454th in the zone. And my reputation is good. So we'll keep improving that. I'm interested to see how that goes up. That's the goal for today. Let's do head into Rostock. Make it there safely. Uh, do some of the arenas. Just kind of explore. I haven't really seen Rostock in the Anomaly Mod, so I'm excited to check it out in here. Because I no longer have any Mosin ammo, I have to grab this little sawn off in a few rounds just to make sure I can safely make it to Rostock because you never know what is going to be there. As I'm heading north, I always try to scout out this little, uh, the ruins here just because I've been jumped by bandits so many times and lo and behold, there is one there. Get a nice little easy sneak attack with my, for, for my first sawn off kill actually I think. Easy enough, grab a couple of these things, go see the trader, load off a bunch of weight basically, because I don't want to carry this stuff anymore. And there's really, I'm not really going to do much of the crafting, I don't. I also, uh, I have a PDA and he offers to buy it for me for a little bit of money. So definitely more than what I'd sold. Very appreciative of that. So with that, I grabbed some ammo, a couple heals, and I am off on my way to Rostock. Also figured out how to look in third person on the way there. It's kind of interesting. It looks pretty goofy, but you can get a nice view of the graphite suit there. It's more of a slow walk there. We take in the sights and the sounds, even a light show. Right outside of Rostock, we spot a little problem that's going to prevent us from getting to where we want to go, and that is just a huge herd of mutants. And I mean, oh. And it looks like one of them sees us, so we have to back off. Like a giant wave of mutants, they all come running at us at once. I pick off a few of them in the initial wave. Run for cover, reload, and then bite a little bit more. One gets extra greedy and makes it all the way up to me. It almost, almost takes me out. But he eventually falls down to the sawn off. And I am so thankful that I picked up the sawn off at this point. Because I would definitely be dead without it. I heal up, check over everything just happened, and then get to skinning. Because we gotta we gotta make that money. Rostock is just as beautiful as ever. And as we make our way into the 100 rads bar, we come across this graph. This graph right here should be to subscriber count. It needs to go up, 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 and away. Because you're going to subscribe today. And if you don't, this person will haunt your dreams. And this little Soviet missile thing. Anyways, I head in and talk to Barkeep continue on my mission of hunting Sherlock he tells me he was here I believe this is anything like the old games we have to go to Yantar I think it is and then get a get a helmet and then turn off the brain scorcher and that will be our first like big step into the into the conscious the rest of our day will be spent at the arena I talked to whole old Arnie here, get the run down to the rules, and he gives us our first fight. Basically, just stalker on stalker. Gulag rules, pistol only, nothing else really, uh, besides my leather jacket. Takes a hot minute to put that on, but once we're good, we got a little Mackie here, and we're running around like it's a paintball arena until we find our guy. And just like in Warzone, we're out the gulag, just like that, after a few pistol shots. It is very, very frustrating after the arena fights that you have all your gear 
on you, but no backpack or no suit on. That is super duper frustrating. It was in the original games. It's in this. It's super frustrating. Arnie gives me my reward. And then we take that money and we triple down on it to fight a pseudo dog. At 30 seconds, we get 30 seconds and a triple win. That's easy. It's just a pseudo dog. We've complained of before. We have that. And I'm sorry if this is a little dark. A little dark in there. But basically, you can see the whites of his eyes. Double barrel comes in clutch yet again. Thank gosh for this shotgun. Free meat off this guy to sell later, so that's great. And then we head back out to Arnie. Then I head back out to Arnie. I grab my nice 3,000 rubles. And we continue on our next fight in the arena. This is round two for the day. My next opponent in the arena is basically just another stalker, equal level. He kills too fast for the for the viewers, I guess. I don't know, but we're just gonna have to kill him quicker. At least this round we get an MP5, which is awesome. Move up the course, or the gulag, I guess. Put a few shots at him. Rotate around. He's being a little, he's kinda hot and he's being he's being a little puss. He th I thought he killed quick. Uh, there he is, hiding in the back. Break up junk. Shitty participant over there hiding in a corner. Back out. Arnie gives us a reward. A nice 2k. Easy enough. Apparently I'm not as much of a pussy as I used to be. So, that's great. It's my first, it's the third round, but it's the first time I'll be in a real fight. It's against two guys and the odds are 10 to 1. So if I win, I should make a good bit of money. At least, that's what Arnie here says. Anyways, we gotta do it. We gotta go through the gulag to get the money. You know what I'm saying? That's why we're... Fighting all these rounds in one day. They're pretty well geared. Uh, Arnie lied to me. It's not rifle day. It's sawn off day. Which luckily I got some experience using that. After fighting the last guy here, I get a little aggressive and I have a sawn off. So I'm trying to push up as quick as I can. Nearly straight down the middle. I'm running about halfway to the arena. Maybe a little more, a little less. I see one off in the distance. I'm not sure if I can even get him from here, but he scoots up just enough to shoot me and injure me pretty badly. But I got a tag on him, I think. I have no meds and I'm bleeding. Luckily, he seemed to die, which is great. Now just one left. As I'm confirming the first kill, here comes his buddy taking a pop shot at me. Luckily, we have the advantage now with him having to get back into cover. I use both of my shots and have to dip back down for a reload. As I'm coming back up, he sprays both of his and misses, luckily. We easily tapped him. Oh, that was that was a little sketchy. That was an actual real fight. Ooh, that was fun though. After getting out and getting our reward from Arnie, I check my status on the PDA and I'm now 427th. Let's go. Move it on up in the world. Gotta keep going to the number one spot. But we're still a rookie. I wish I was um, a little bit higher, but I guess I gotta get more rep for that. Not sure. After that tricky round, the next round Arnie gives us is uh, a three on three. Me with two brothers who have never fought before against an experienced team of stalkers, which is great. Uh, they use different weapons. One has an automatic shotgun. That's gonna be real fun. Good luck, pal. You're gonna need it. Before I can even get my vest on, my teammates are already shooting at me and pointing guns at me like they're going to kill me. So that's always a positive sign. But on a good note, we do get an AK this time to fight. So it should be maybe a little in our favor, hopefully. Uh, our two guys here have cleared the area a little bit and just start absolutely spraying like madmen. They were definitely very nervous, but it's okay. I'd, I'd done three rounds today. I was confident. I peek out, I don't see anyone. I'm clearing over half the arena here. I had to dip back because I was getting a little too scared of myself. Who was, cause who was he spraying out, who did he see? And then bam, I see one just sitting back in the spawn basically. And down, easy enough. I'll keep moving up the left side to clear. Oh, someone's taking shots at me. I'm still back there and basically the spawn. He goes down as well. And that was it. I guess they had gotten one as well because I killed two and then I've been shot back out to uh to Arnie here. Which is great. I'm so glad that 
they were able to help a little bit. And 4K, can't go wrong with 4K. We have to have at least a good bit of money now to stock back up. That was our last fight of the day. That was the fourth round. Um, I figured that was good enough, and that way we can maybe do a round a day for a little while to get our money back up. So hopefully we don't spend it all at once. After that round, I go and explore Rostock because it has been a while since I've been here. I go and decide that I'm way too cheap to get my armor repaired, but I mean, 12,500 rubles is a lot considering it's only you know halfway broken. Uh, I am, I do have a small fortune of 35,000 rubles at this point, but. We're not going to spend them on that. I keep exploring. I find the Junior Sergeant in this crazy, crazy place back here with like mutant heads on the wall. It's kind of sick. <laughs> After browsing around what looked to be like the duty home base, I make my way over to the dock. Uh, he's a rookie as well as me, but he does give me some supplies. I mean, he wants to charge me two 2k rubles to fix me up, so I think I just buy some small supplies off of him and carry on. After that, I head on over to Colonel Petrinko. Petrinko? I sell him a bunch of useless shit and my son off shotgun, unfortunately, just because I don't really want to carry it anymore. Grab some Mosin ammo and some Scorpion ammo. Talk to him for a bit, see what he has to say. Rostock was mostly explored, I didn't want to get too much into wild territory. Um, you know, we'd fought a good bit of arena matches as we made it to Rostock, which was our main goal. Talked to Barkeep, advanced some of our missions. I think after exploring and spending a little bit of our money, it was a nice time to just sit by the fire, enjoy a nice stove, and call it a night. Wake up in Rostock. Uh, I wake up thirsty as usual, so I went and grabbed some water and then grab some more missions from Barkeep. So to get that bread up so we can get the Taws and give to Hip. You see one that's just really close in wild territory. I didn't want to get too far into wild territory because it's a little scary. Uh, but I figured we could go out here and, you know, at least do this mo uh, mutant killing contract. that I gotta turn that quest back in and then we head back out to garbage I always have to scout now scout the ruins because it's just sometimes it's occupied sometimes it's not uh, I go to trade can't afford the scope toss that's uh, the quest for help so we can't do that so we just grab some ammo and then we go off to come sell some stuff, complete some quests. Before we can even get back to the butcher, we run into these two um, mutants, pig mutants. And they charge us, easy enough kills, and some more on the butcher. We're on our way to the shots, we take out. We're on our way to shots, so we head off in the distance. There's a ping, saying there's a fight, so we head over there. We take out a few of these guys along the way. Throw binoculars. We think clear sky has, or I think clear sky is basically one already. By the time I get there, because you can kind of just see them off in the distance fighting, and we know that they're clear sky because of our little thing. So we end up just, or I just end up just killing these zeds and heading on back to the butcher. I sell him just all kinds of shit hoping for money. And he gives me a decent, almost enough to get it done. Uh, I head back out to this another mission that is to find this 
stash and agriprom. Um, but it's right at the edge, so I basically just grab these documents um, and some junk, which I know also offer good money. After that is a quick run back to the train yard to get some rest and hang out by the campfire. One of my missions for the butcher was to do a night raid, basically, and I wanted to... I thought that would be epic <clears throat> to do like a to fight a nocturnal mutant um maybe it'll be you know a big scary guy maybe not who knows I go to bed early so i can wake up you know right around midnight we have enough time to do the night raid and hopefully get the taws and get back down to gordon so it'll be a long day but it'll be worth it Day eight, I wake up right right after midnight. I think it's like one in the morning, maybe two. Um, I sit by the campfire, get awake, grab some water, and then I turn on my, my headlamp and I'm out of there. I make it after a really quiet walk uh, up there to the trader, Gold Glib. I'm still a few dollars short, but I do have a bunch of ammo, some patches, you know, just a bunch of knickknacks to give him, which give me a little bit of money. Unfortunately, it's not enough, so we go coal hunting. We're flushing out a mutant lair for dinner night, which is hopefully be sick, since we kind of missed out on the other one. The night quest, the night raid, uh, mutant lair was, was already done, I guess. Somebody had already killed it, unfortunately. So we head back out, and it's really, really dark. But we sniped him with our Mosin. We sniped the boards with the Mosin. Uh, I got a little scared about the, you know, the handy dandy scorpion finished him off. But after that, I don't even bother skinning because I know my, my, my knife is too dull. But I do go get to turn in the quest to Butcher and get a good bit of money. Enough money to go back and get the Taz. So we head back to... Uh, Ogleb, the trader, and we get the the Taz 34 Bison uh, in a few rounds, 10 rounds. Uh, a buckshot to give to Hip. We buy it. Boom. And all we gotta do is make the run down to Gordon. So we head out. You know, it is just now about 5 a.m., so we have plenty of time to get down there before daylight again. Before night again. Before noon, honestly. It is a long, long walk, but as soon as we get down to trash and into cordon, we cross over into the cordon territory and are surprised. We're jumped by a bunch of bandits. I wait for a second to see what the hell's about to happen. And they see me in the dark, and it's a showdown, baby. Thank you. Baby. I took no damage. And this is right during a size storm about to happen. While I load in the court and talk about holy shit, what a shit show that was. Thankfully, we took him down, no damage. We already had the scorpion ready. I grabbed some things off of him. I grabbed some things off a few of them and basically just ride out the, the rest of the storm. I can't leave till it's over. So, I look around, eat some beans, just kind of hanging out. Uh, as soon as it's over, though, I'm going to make the long walk to uh, Rookie Village, but not too far in. We see some boars. I uh, don't want to be caught off guard, and we have a ton of grenades, so we toss a grenade. Doesn't do too much. Tear one up with the scorpion. And then I almost get torn up by the other one. We kill it with our last bullet, our last round in the scorpion. The one that got us there. Whew. After that, it's another long, long walk until we almost get jumped by this cat. Luckily, the scope tiles, one tapped it. It was nice. This bison sure is nice. I hate that I gotta give it up, but we get to Beginner Village and we find help and we hand it to her and, oh, she don't seem to care too much. That is a little rude. But we follow it up, we hand it off to her. She tells us 
the client's dead. That sucks. And then she goes to give us, or goes to give me stuff from his stash, but I literally got nothing. So that's unfortunate. I don't even get to continue the conversation as she just keeps walking off. So I got a pretty jip there. Feeling a little upset. I think I just hang out. I sit by the fire with our friend and then I just take it to bed. Upset that I just grinded so much, so much money just to do nothing. Just to give it away for basically nothing. That is the end of part two, though. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Let me know if you want to see part three down below. I have part of it recorded, but I don't know if I really have the time to do it right now. So if you want to see part three, let me know. If not, we may just let the series die and move on to something else. Thank you again for watching, and this has been Loner JB. Good night.